a short video about the R380 oil feed ring. This is the rear casting um, on the back of the R380. The oil pump sits here. The oil is sucked through a filter down this pipe. This is the pump inlet. It's pressurized here, driven by the lay shaft, and oil flows out of there, pressurized, out of this port, either straight back in this port or through an oil cooler, but either way it goes back in here, through this port where it pressurizes the oil feed ring, and then that in turn pushes oil down the main shaft to the bearings. This is the oil feed ring that drops in that diameter. So, this goes to the bottom, six o'clock, oil comes in the side, pressurizes this outer groove, goes in through these two holes to pressurize the main shaft. Now, on the genuine oil feed ring, this is a genuine production one, there's a little bit there and a little bit there, which keeps the oil in that cavity pressurized to stop it coming down here and leaking through this port. That's important. This part was superseded by Land Rover at the end of the current production R380 to this component, which looks very similar. So again, this mark is to signify the bottom, six o'clock. Oil comes in the side, but if you look at it carefully, this groove is continuous all the way around. So the oil comes in the side, leaks straight round to the bottom here and exhausts straight out of this port without pressurizing the main shaft. In my opinion, a complete design flaw. The part that we make is similar. It's got the pin at the bottom, which drops in the groove at six o'clock. The oil comes in the side here. As you can see, it's got an off-center groove machined, so the oil comes in at about two o'clock. It then pressurizes this groove and in through these feed holes to the center diameter. But because it's off-center, it can't leak around to the bottom port because that's blanked off. So that works fine. I hope that explains it. Thank you.